Hi, welcome back to the devlog. I've done a lot of work this week on the game's interfaces, including two new systems to tell the player what's happening in the forest. Before I get to that though, I've created a Discord channel for the game. I'd love to engage with you all a bit more, and it seems a perfect way to do that. The link to that is in the description, and it should be super easy to join. The first thing I worked on this week was an alert system. I made a paper mock-up first. Alerts will stack on the left side of the screen throughout the game whenever something noteworthy happens. Alerts could include employee thoughts, problems with machines, and random events occurring in the world. Having sketched a basic design on paper, I got to work putting together the alert design in Unity. Each alert consists of an icon representing the object creating the alert and a text box, which is space for a description of the alert. I built it to be pretty easy to create an alert in the code. I just pass in the object and the text and an alert is automatically created by the alert manager. Having said that, I had some problems with positioning at first. That was pretty simple to fix after a quick search on the Unity documentation and it didn't take long before I had the basic alert system working. Next I moved on to the progress bar I designed last week. These will be pretty useful in the control panels to show the player information about machines, such as how degraded they are or how full storage is. The code all seemed to make sense to me until I discovered that I'd managed to make the bars grow vertically rather than horizontally. For some reason I'd put the horizontal and vertical sizes the wrong way around in the code and having swapped them I got the bar working well displaying the amount of storage space remaining in storage buildings. I decided that having the block green colour is fine, but it would be cool if the progress bars could change colour as they change shape. I started with a smooth transition from one colour to another. Here you can see the bar transitioning from red to green. I soon decided that was a bad way of doing things, as the colours can often end up muddy and not particularly nice to look at. As you can see here, discrete colour changes work much better. Here I've set it to be red when the storage is full, orange when nearly full, and green otherwise. The points the colours change is totally customisable for each bar, and so are the colours themselves. When you switch between storage buildings, you can see that the bar adjusts itself immediately to represent the currently selected building. I took a break at this point and ended up playing a game I made in high school. This is my first complete Unity project and the point where I started taking game development a bit more seriously. It's pretty much a clone of an old Flash game called Motherload, which is an absolute classic, but I had so much fun making it. It was actually a decent game considering how inexperienced I was. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a full video on it. I think it would be a pretty interesting project to revisit. Right, so back to work on the game. I started Wednesday by making control panels for all the machines and added a health level to each. This goes down as the machines process items until eventually they break down. I'll be adding mechanics at some point which will maintain and look after the machines, and this is the first step towards that. As you can see here, as the machines process, the progress bars show the machine's health decreasing. When they finally break down, an alert is triggered including the name of the machine and an explanation of what has happened. The final task for the week was redesigning the storage buildings. I'm pretty tired of the weird empty fenced area the game's got at the moment and decided now was time to fix that. I started with a mock-up on paper and decided to just go for a simple wooden barn style building where each size of storage building is painted a different colour. I only had time to fit one of the drawings into this week's video, but I'm pretty happy with what was achieved. I like the corrugated look of the roof, and we'll probably be using that texture again in other buildings. I expect to be finishing off the rest of the storage building drawings next week. That's all for this week. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe, and I'll look forward to the next one.